Hey everyone, this is Valentin from MusicRightness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn what a wonderful word and it sounds just like this. Alright guys, in this first part, we are going to learn the introduction, the verse and the chorus. We are in the key of B major. So we have five sharps. We have F, C, G, D and A. Here is the chord progression. We start by playing a B major chord. Playing the bass, which is B on the left hand, and D sharp, F sharp, and B on the right. Next, we'll play a G sharp minor. Playing G sharp on the bass, D sharp, G sharp, and B on the right hand. Then we'll go to the fourth degree, playing this E major. So we have E, B, E, and G sharp. And now we'll end on F sharp minor, playing F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. Very nice. Okay, so let's learn the rhythmic pattern that we'll use through all those parts. It goes like this one, two, three, and four. Again, one, two, three, and four. So what we do here is that we play the bass first, then we repeat the bass and we play the full chord on the right hand, and then we play an octave on the left hand, playing B, and the chord again on the right hand. So it goes left, together, left, right. Again, left, together, left, right. With the counts, it goes like this. Three, four. One, two, three, and four. Very good. So, for the introduction, we just play B once. So we play this pattern on the B major chord. One, two, three, and four. And then on the D sharp minor. One, two, three, and four. And that's all for the introduction. Now let's get into the verse. The verse starts with the B major. One, two, three, and four. Then we go on G sharp minor, but this time we'll play something else. We'll play this. So, we start the same way. We play the bass, then hands together. And this time, we'll hold the right hand for the rest of the bar, while the left hand will play this line resolves to E. So it goes one, two, three, and four, and one. And from here, we do the rhythmic pattern on the E major, like this. One, two, three, and four. And now, to finish, we do the same on F sharp minor, with a slight variation on the left hand. So here we do one, two, three. We play the fifth this time instead of an octave. So we play C sharp on the left and then again hands together. And we get into the chorus. Let's play this verse again together. Three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. Very good! Okay, now let's learn the chorus. It starts exactly like the verse, like this. Three, four, one, two, three, 
and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four. From here, we just repeat. One, two, three and four. And instead of going into G sharp minor right here, we'll go directly to E major. Back to B major. And to E again. And now we play the F sharp minor. And we end on B major again. So we just play the chord on the right hand. And the bass line goes like this. So the last bar goes like this. We play B major, and then left hand goes G, F, G, F, D, into C. Very good. From here, the song repeats the verse and chorus. guys that's all for the first part of this tutorial if you want to see more please head over to musicgreatness.com as always thank you for watching and if you liked the video please leave a like a comment and subscribe see you in the next lesson